Welcome back everybody. So today we're doing something a little different. This is a bunch of footage I filmed down in Utah at our invasion event last month. <clears throat> a little late on bringing it out, but I didn't have time to really film a whole lot. This is kind of what I hacked together off what I had. Not crazy good, but it's something. Um, if you want to see more about Invasion, go to the Race, Rebuild, Repeat channel. They filmed a lot about Invasion. And then also um, Off-Road Diaries, they filmed a lot of the Invasion. So you can go check that out. I think even Desert Side-by-Side -Side did it. Yeah, he did. Dallin was there. So he filmed some stuff there. So there's quite a few channels out there in this industry that were there and filmed good stuff. So you'll be able to see some good content. So enjoy what we got. Hopefully you guys like it. Again, please subscribe, like, comment, you know, all the fun stuff. Thank you. Good morning, everybody from UTV Invasion. We are back, and I'm actually gonna start making videos again. I've got a few that I filmed, so it's gonna be fun to start pumping some content out and have a good time. I really slack in the wintertime on doing anything fun and filmable. So what we're doing today is we got our sand scramble race. So I've been out this morning putting up tape, and I recruited Nate. You guys know Nate, you'll see him in a minute to help me finish up. We got so far about 3,000 feet of caution tape set up for everybody for the race. So we're gonna go finish that, kind of show you what that's about. And then we're gonna show you some cool footage of the actual race. We got Frankie, Leo from Race Reboot Repeat right there. There's Frankie's rig, he's gonna be racing today. So it's gonna be a good time. So tag along, we'll show you some fun stuff. All right guys, as I promised, me and Ada are out here getting the track all done. We didn't film any of that because that's- It's boring. Yeah, <laughs> it's just walking a lot of feet. Oh, wow. And stretching out 6,000 feet of <laughs> tape. So we're gonna don't have Nate film. Don't destroy it. Yeah, yeah, don't destroy it. That sucked. Uh, we're gonna have Nate film. We're gonna do a quick sight lap just to make sure nobody drove over the tape that we put up and kind of give you a rundown of what the course looks like. So this will be all in fast motion? Yes, sped up. Sped up. That's Time the better word. Time Time there we go. Time lapse. Look at that. Oh. Time's doing. I cut five seconds off the last one. Really? So. What times are you seeing? He hit 1:30 two laps ago. 1:25 last lap. So he's getting a little faster. He's still a little gun shy from that lawn dart in 
at St. Anthony's last year. I can see that. Uh, which obviously, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but he is, he's starting to get the feel for it again. Yeah. And how old is he? He's 13. 13. It's amazing. So, so yeah, the start's going to be up there. You're going to come down, take a right, and fly over and get started. Awesome. I got to go fence that off a little bit better where people are parking their stuff right now. We are out on one of the choke points of the course, which I'm pretty excited about. And we're going to have some good footage of this because Nate's going to be here. I'm getting things kind of set up, but they're coming from that way. I'm going to sweep in through here. Had to get the hostile banner up. They're going to go, they can actually go straight there or turn. Not this one, but there's one right here they can turn over. So it gives them a couple different options. One is a lot flatter. The other one has a big jump in the middle of it. So I guess it depends on style of the driver but we're giving them options this right here is real wide all the way around so there's going to be a lot of passing right here tried to give them a few passing areas that was the biggest complaint is there's never enough passing areas out here which i agree it's hard to make a wide enough spot but yeah finally weather is nice it's been pretty rough the past few days t-shirt weather finally still a little bit of wind but it could be worse Got the flag up for Sergeant Bill, who was killed. That was a tragic story, super crappy. His wife will be here Saturday, his wife and girls. We're gonna be doing a ride. We'll have a lot of coverage on that because that's gonna be awesome. We're having those given out. So myself, Marcus from Sand Out Lost Series and Kent Miller from Jericho Specialties bought all of the flags, the thin blue line flags that we could from Kent suppliers. We're just giving them out to everybody to honor Bill. So his wife wanted to come out for his memorial ride. They were supposed to be here at Invasion um, before he was killed in the line of duty. So super shitty. I really feel for the family, but we want to do what we can here and help support him. I've actually seen Bill at my events. This is pretty sad. It sucks that somebody had I wouldn't even call it, I don't know, that some piece of shit was. I don't even know what to say. Just a terrible person that would do that to somebody. But anyways, that ride's gonna be starting over there. We'll have some good coverage on that one. We're hoping to have a couple hundred cars on that ride for Bill. Um, we found out yesterday his wife is gonna come out. So that's really awesome. But more on this, Sand Cross. You guys just saw me and Nate do a quick lap around. I think we're ready these are always the most stressful so an invasion what a lot of people don't know everybody thinks we're just this huge massive production it's not so me and brianna brianna's my wife obviously for those of you who follow the channel eight months ago when i was posting know that my wife is the brains behind this i just am the labor and the face and blah 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 but she's the she's the real backbone so it we work probably 40 50 hours a week at this event or for these events to get them done there's so much on the back end especially working with the federal government getting permits and ambulance stuff Joab county's been awesome cindy at the blm jay they've been great just a lot of hoops to jump through and then out here on the events um, without people like whiskey throttle they helped design the course yesterday and then nate helped me a little bit this morning getting all the tape wrapped around it so we're a small crew um it's me Brianna, Nate, and then we brought Todd Palmer down, aka Poopy Pants. That's his his gamer tag. Yes, we're nerds. We play video games. Um, so he's down here with us, and that's really the crew that runs this. So without like Whiskey Throttle, they're going to be doing the jump show for you. Marcus, Sand Outlaw Series, they're going to be putting on a show for you. We have a lot of people help us out and do that kind of stuff, so we can help rep their brand, and that's what allows us to do this with such a a small team so up until now we've never charged for an event we've been doing it for free trying to prove to people that we well, mainly i wanted to prove to myself that we can put on an event worth 20 bucks for a week so we did that we're now going to charge for the event as we continue to grow if we have budget for it then we'll obviously hire staff make it bigger but yeah Is somebody running the track right now Harness a little loose. Not doing its job there. Hopefully they didn't go through the middle of the track and tear down the 
tape and that's happened about five times today super pumped about it but anyways like i was saying we are charging for this one twenty dollars a wristband we're hoping to hit a thousand a break even point me and brianna have been covering all the negative out of our own pockets for invasion in the past three years um, just because we wanted to build it up it's an investment we knew it would be we weren't looking to make a bunch of money so if we can break even on this one we'll bring utah back if we lose our asses on it again probably not going to bring it back but to entice people um we're giving away a talaria if we hit a thousand wristbands that's our break even point but i mean there's so many people out here i don't think it'll be hard we'll just see if utah steps up and helps out everybody loves the event so we'll see how much they support it but yeah all right i am headed back to camp got to meet with colton from twilla powder coating and probably just eat some dang brother pizza which if you are at invasion it'll be too late for to see once i post this you'll it'll already be over probably so hopefully you've tried dang brother pizza uh, amazing stuff they actually converted a fire truck into a pizza oven so pretty awesome but uh see people over there that's the sound outlaw track right over there so right there that's where marcus is at getting it all ready that's going to be sweet there's going to be some nasty cars we'll have some video for that for you tomorrow on a different video but i'm rambling so there we go and because i'm terrible at filming uh the little spots in between we're going to jump straight to the races i didn't film anything else so here we go Okay, broke the flag off. We <laughs> Final lap. And we got two drivers coming in. Final lap, and we got two drivers coming in. Blind into that one. That does. Group of peeps. Yeah. Oh, he, oh, oh, he's, oh, he's, oh, he's about to fly. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, oh. Man.
maybe we could push them off course. There's a guy off course. They're trying to get him off, but they couldn't, so we got to restart it. Oh, a restart? Oh, that make things spicier. All right, bring him back. Let's restart race. Round two, fight. Frankie went around by me back into first place, or now into first place. There's Frank, Frankie J, Colton Bybee from Whiskey Throttle, and the Martian Whips guy. I feel bad I don't know his name, but I will put it below. Oh! Oh! Everybody stop the race! Okay, we'll, we'll get, get you him over. over. No worries. You good? Straight? Okay. Head back up. Well, Colton broke. So even though we had a rollover, he was in second place. Catastrophic failure. He's out. So now we're going to restart Martian and uh, Frankie. All right, Colton's out. It's just you two. Any anybody goes over, they take second place from here. Good. What do you got? Colton's out. He broke. Oh no way! Yeah, this guy rolled over. So restart and final time. If anybody rolls over, they take second place. Whoever doesn't roll makes first. Or if you finished in first, you're good to go. Make sense? I don't want to restart again. Yeah, no. With only two of you, there's this no need to. Be after this, so. Yeah. This is the final of the final of the final. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan New, Off-Road Diaries. Dude, shitty. Colton going out. That was definitely not the, I don't think that was the anticipated outcome of that scenario. No. Not a mechanical failure, that sucks. Think it was his tranny? I don't, it definitely sounded like Tranny or a diff, he did say, he said his diff was leaking, so. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty bad, his whole tire was covered in diff fluid, but he gave it his all. That's all you can do sometimes, man. Yes, sir. All right, let's see who's in front, Martian or Frankie J. Let's just hope the Martian stays on his leg. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie J is If he gets close, I think Frank will just push it till it breaks. <laughs> what the hell? Not everybody has can be smart. Not everybody has common sense, yeah. man. As Tom McDonald would say, common sense is not that common. Not at all. I'm going to go on a live racetrack 
just for fun. It sounds like a plan. I'm just gonna start going on live racetracks and see what happens. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta play stupid games to feel alive, Jonathan. That's right. That's what gets content. Yeah. Oh, he hit a... <laughs> He's got some of the caustic tape on his car. Frank's not pushing it. I would definitely be a little shaken up. <laughs> hey, I heard there's a cider keg coming to the party tonight. There's a cider keg. Hey, there's cider keg? All right, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah the jalapeno it. cider? Oh, oh shit. I'm there. The, the rollover will find I got it. You got it? Yeah. Oh, you got to it. I just got the aftermath. I got it. That's fantastic. He did not seem super pumped upside down. He's like, guys, I can't get out. Roll me over. Hey, you saw, you saw how strong those Martian winds were? Yeah. yeah well, well, that's why. That's why I said, oh, if they don't, <laughs> they don't break. That's quality yeah. right there. American made. American made. That's America right there. American. Woo! Frankie G. Martian Whips, second place. Woo! Frankie! Good job, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah. This, this is a good, good time. You had fun? Good time. Real good time. Heck yeah. We'll be uh, doing this again for sure. Awesome. Well, I mean, you won the final of the final of the final, so you're good. Final, final, final. Good job, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys, that concludes the race for now. We'll get more content later and more fun stuff. All right, guys, I had to do a quick shout out because we're out here cleaning up. And normally I just clean up by myself because I don't like asking for help. It's just, I don't know, nothing weird like that. But Richard Hale, Keaton, his wife, and their friend just started doing it. Just fantastic people. So definitely some of the good ones. But I wanted to throw that out there because I didn't ask for it. They just did it, and that's awesome. So if you guys see this, thank you. <laughs>